Well, hello there, fishing friends, and if you're new here, welcome. On today's video, I thought I would try out a journey. I have not had the chance to try out journey mode. I actually haven't been playing real VR fishing for a while. I've been playing another game called Ark. Um, so if you're familiar with Ark, that's where I've been. I've been playing Ark on a server with some friends. So I thought I would jump on here and do a little fishing uh, and try to get my Happy New Year sign lit up, get my fishing pole. And I thought I'd bring you along to show you uh, the quick ways of catching these fish. So let's go ahead and jump in here. Let's head over here to journey mode. To find journey mode, you click on the little airplane up there and Happy New Year is gonna be on the end. If you come in here and you see journey mode like that, you'll have to go over here to the very end. Let's go ahead and pull that up. And you have three, you got happy, new, and year. We're gonna be finding fish that start or have the uh, letters in happy, new, and year. Um, I say have because I've already looked at the first one in California halibut. <laughs> does not start with an H, but it does, it is a halibut, so it is an H. So I jumped in here, I took a look, and I planned it out, and I'm going to try to get through these fish as quick as possible, and show you how to get through them as quick as possible as well. So, California halibut is Kenya Point, Hawaii. This is going to, all of these are going to be on either the free maps or South Korea. So, you're not going to have to purchase any DLCs to do any of this. Um, however, there are couple of fish in here that are huge you do need to be a uh, license level 16 or more on those locations in order to catch huge fish so when I get to those fish I will let you know so let's go ahead let's go ahead and start this stage all right so here we are let's go ahead and bring up our fish finder here California halibut let's bring it over here he's on the lower bottom mid depth right there and we're actually going to be using a uh, the lures to catch this one today. Um, you can see soft bait and crank bait. We're going to be using the soft. We're going to start off with spoon. The reason we're going to start off with spoon is to find this guy. So it will be a large fish. So you got this is huge, and then this one here with the fin on top that's large, and this with no fin is medium. So we're looking for these large fish. So we got three, four large fish right there. And we're looking for one that turns green when we go over to the soft bait. So we're going to start off with the spoon. Uh, the spoon is going to be red. We're going to go to the spinner. The spinner will be red. Then we'll go to the soft bait. There's the whale. And we're looking for one that turns green. This one right here turns green. Let me go back again. So we got spoon, red, spinner, red, soft bait, green. So we're going to be catching this guy right here. He's at about 150 feet out. Uh, with this reel and rod, uh, A, it's going to cast out the 300 feet. So I'm going to count back 5, 10, 15, and be right in that area right there. So let me go ahead and cast out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I'm going to let it drop about there, and it's going to drop down slowly. And I'll kind of jig it around a little bit. And I'll bring it in slowly right here. See if we can get it on the line. There we go. And it is going to run because it is a large fish. And let's bring this guy in. Now, one thing I have seen online is. You want to, oh no, of course I got a shark on there right away. I don't want the shark. I'm going to go ahead and let that one go. <laughs> Everybody's freaking out. Oh, you let a shark go. I, I'm not catching sharks today. So. All right, let's try this again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And basically I'm counting the real, uh, is turning every rotation is five feet so or ten feet sorry there we go all right let's see if we can bring this guy in without the shark and I wouldn't mind catching another shark but I'm trying to get through this here to show you guys that this can be done pretty quickly. 
And as I was saying before the shark jumped on there, I have seen online that once you start this, you do need to finish it. You can't turn your game off and leave and come back. You need to finish, I believe you need to finish at least each H, you know, happy, and then new, and then year. I don't know that you have to do all three of them, but we're going to do all three of them. And there it is, the California halibut. And confirm that we're gonna go back to the lodge. All right, so here we are back in the lodge. Now we're going to be going to South Korea to catch the Amir Gobi. So let's head over there and I'll show you how to catch that one really quickly. All right, so here we are, gonna be catching the Amir Gobi. Let me go ahead and bring this up here. Okay, Amir Gobi. And we're gonna be catching it on the worm and we're gonna be finding it with the crawfish. Now we're gonna be doing this on the the fish finder again. You'll notice that all of these I'll be doing with the fish finder. Um, you can also do this on normal mode as well using the glasses. We're going to be looking for a small yellow fish. It's going to be yellow when you're using the crawfish. And then we'll go back over to the worm and it'll be green. So this is the one right here. It's way down on the bottom. You're going to be catching it on the worm. I'm going to cast out. Um, it's, I'm using A so it's going to hit 300 feet. I'm going to count back. 5, 10, and it'll be on the bottom there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let it drop. Should turn red pretty quickly. There we go. And it is a small fish, so it'll come in really quickly. That's it right there. And we have it. There we go. And it happens to be my personal best. Yeah, it's a neat looking little fish, isn't you? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go ahead and keep that one. And we'll go back to the lodge. All right, here we are back at the lodge. Next one we'll be catching is the Pacific Herring on Key Beach, Hawaii. Let's go ahead and start that stage. All right, so here we are. Let's go ahead and bring up the fish finder here. We're going to be looking for the Pacific Herring. And there's the Pacific Herring going to be catching this on the dough ball. We're going to use the crawfish to spot it. Um, it's going to be red on the crawfish and green on the dough ball. So uh, it is a medium-sized fish. Let's go ahead and pull this up. So we have the medium-sized fish. We have four of them that are green. I am going to go to the crawfish and we have a red and green. So it's going to be one of these three fish. I'm going to go ahead and cast out to 300 feet, bring it in and bring it up to the top because that guy's on top because it's pretty bright green and try to catch that guy right there. One, two, three, four, five. It should be right there. Should turn green. Should turn red, I'm <laughs> I should say. It is a green fish on the dough ball. Small splash. It's going to come in pretty easily. Hopefully we don't get a shark. Sharks like to eat these medium-sized fish, so. And there we go. Comes in pretty easily. And there's the Pacific herring. All right, we'll keep that guy. As you notice, I'm keeping all of these. You do need to keep these fish in order for it to be counted as a, a catch. All right, now we're back at the lodge. We're going to be catching the pilot fish. And let's jump over here to Haisha Rock start that stage all right so let's bring up our fish finder here we got the pilot fish up there and there's the pilot fish we're gonna be catching it on the minnow so let me jump over here to my lure fishing and we're gonna start off with a little jig though and we're gonna work our ways backwards so it's gonna be we're gonna use the fish finder again. it's gonna be red on the metal jig and then it's gonna go red, yellow, green as we cycle backwards through the baits. So we got metal jig, and we got crankbait, and then we'll be catching it on the minnow. So it'll be red, yellow, green. So let me pull that up, and we're looking for a large fish that's red right there. I'm gonna go back to the left, yellow and green. There it is right there. Let me go back here. So we have the metal jig, it's red, yellow, green. It's right there. So 
unfortunately there are a lot of green around that so it's going to be either that one or one of the others so we're going to try to, we're going to try to keep it out there and try to, uh, to catch that guy it, it looks like it's in the mid level so i'm gonna let it drop down a little bit and just kind of jig it through this one's farther down this one looks like it's way at the bottom so hopefully i don't catch this guy we're going to try to go for that one and yeah, see if i can cast out there he keeps moving on me One, two, three, four. Let me go there. Try to keep it out of ways. Maybe I can get him. Let me jig it around. There we go. Got something on the line. Hopefully that's it. It is going to run because it's a large fish. All right. We'll bring this guy in. See if we have the pilot fish and not one of the other many other fish that were green on this bait. This lure. Almost there. Did we get it? Yes, we got it. There's the pilot fish. Alright, go ahead and keep you. And we've completed. All right, so here we are. We got one last one to catch to complete happy. And we're going to be going after the yellowtail amberjack. Let's go ahead and start that stage. All right, so here we are. I don't normally like to video on this location because of the noise of the rain and everything, but uh, this is where they brought us. So this is going to be the same pattern as the Mahi Mahi. So we're going to go over to the metal jig. And this is one of those that's a huge fish. So to catch a huge fish, you do need to be level 16 for your license level. And uh, you got your fishing license level up here. I'm level 20. So you must be, for South Korea, you must be license level 16 in order to catch this. So if you haven't reached that, you can't actually do this journey you can't finish this journey until you've reached that license level of 16 or better. Just so you know, so if you're coming out here trying to find a huge fish and you're not finding it, don't get frustrated. You just haven't reached your license level yet. Just go ahead and pull this up. These are the huge fish right here. And we have mahi mahi that are gonna be green and we also have this uh, yellowtail amberjack. However, let's go back here. Mahi mahi is on all depths. Amberjack is only on the top. So we can target just the top fish. Um, so the bright ones, we know that that one's there and that one there. But either one of these two could be the Mahi Mahi or the Amberjack. But we're gonna go ahead and target out there to that big swirl that's out there right now. And see if that's it. And so, yep, there we go, got a red line. It is going to run. It is a huge fish. And we'll see if it jumps out of the water as a mahi-mahi. I'll release it. And, but if it jumps out, then it's a yellow tail. Oh, I can tell by how fast that it is swimming that we got it. So the amberjack uh, swims very fast left and right. So that's one, one way, one telltale sign that you know if you caught it. This one takes a little bit longer to bring in. Just because it's a huge fish. But I have some, seen some people on the Facebook page that are stuck on this one because they, they can't find it. They're not catching it. They're spending you know an hour or so trying to catch this guy. And it's because that they have not reached level 16 yet for their license level. All you do is just keep fishing, building your license level. And there we go. And we will keep that. Now to build your license level, you do need to release your fish. Um, for this journey, you do need to keep your fish. So just so you know. <laughs> There we go. We got happy. The happy journey is complete. Go ahead and head back to the lodge. 
and start on new. All right, let's press on receive reward. The year of the blue dragon, awesome. All right. I got happy highlighted up there now. It's all lit up. Woohoo! You do have to be on online mode. All right. Let's go back to happy new year and finish off new. As you can see, that does say complete. Now, I don't know if you can exit at this time and then come back and do new and year or if you have to do all of them at the same time. I'm guessing that you could probably exit at this time and come back and do new year. But like I said, I'm not 100% positive. So I'm going to go ahead and do all of these in order. So uh, I'm not going to be exiting anyways. Okay, so let's continue our journey with new. Okay, so here we are. We're going to be going after the Northern Whiting. Now the Northern Whiting and the Shishim Shishamo, I don't know how to say that, <laughs> but they have the exact same color pattern as far as all baits and lures. So basically we're just going to be using a worm and looking for a medium fish on a worm. So let me bring up my float fishing here, switch that over to a worm. Looking for a medium fish. We got a medium fish there and a medium fish there. And I believe they're even both top, top. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> both of them. Actually that one, let's see. That one is only on the top. That one is on the top and medium. And if we look here, this one is in the mid depth. So we can actually probably target that one. I already have my uh, line on the mid depth. That is probably it right there. You know, this one could be both of them, but that one is definitely it because it's in the mid depth. So that's one way that you could uh, find that using this. So this is rod and reel A. I'm going to cast out 300 feet, count back 5, 10 to about 200 feet and let it sit there and see if we can get it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let it drop. It should turn red pretty quickly if it's pretty close to it. Or not. There it goes. So this should be it. All right, bring this guy in. This is considered expert, I think, on the uh, expert or hard one of the two. <laughs> Catching three fish, I don't consider that. Uh, that was not it. That was not it. So let's try this again. Got a little bit closer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Let's try it eleven. See if that's any. There we go. That was a lot quicker. I must not have been close enough to it. Maybe it was that little extra. That. Yeah, that's better. That's much better. I didn't think that that it would have ran like that. Coming in a lot quicker. There we go. Northern Whiting. We caught you. Just a little guy. Alright, keep you. And we got the end done. Let's go to the lodge. Alright, now we have the Japanese eel to catch on Lake Toya. Let's go ahead and start that stage. Okay, so here we are on Lake Toya. We're going to be switching over to the grasshopper. And it will be the only large fish. So these with the fin on top that is green on a grasshopper. So as you can see, we don't have any of them out there. And I do believe, let's go over here, Japanese eel. Uh, it is a rare fish. So you're not gonna see these as often. Now, since we didn't have any in our fish finder, we're gonna cycle through the fish, go back to expert, back to hard, and pull up our thing here. And we don't have any green. So I'm gonna do this again, expert, hard, until we see green. There we go, we got two of them out there. Uh, they look like they're about middle. That one's way on the bottom, it looks like. It looks pretty dim. 
I'm going to go ahead and leave it in the middle on the mid depth and just kind of cast out. Actually, I can maybe just kind of just barely cast it out right there and see if that gets it. There we go. Yeah, I didn't even have to count backwards or anything. Just right in front of me. I'm just going to run. And we'll bring this guy in. It's a pretty nice little location. And he does come in a little slower than others. He's a large fit. For some reason, they just make them slow to come in. There you go. See him jump out of the water. Luckily, this one was pretty close. So, but it seems that uh, no matter the distance, they still take about the same amount of time to bring in. <laughs> they just slow it down. Right, we'll get it in here. And you will be catching this guy twice during these journeys. So you'll be coming back and doing the exact same thing, catching it when we get into the the word year. Same one for years. Well, come on, you're right here. It's almost like bringing in a shark. It takes so long. And we have the Japanese eel. There's the Japanese eel. And we'll keep that guy. All right, we got E completed. Let's go back to the lodge. Okay, here we go. We're going to be catching the Wahoo. The Wahoo is a huge fish, so you do have to be level 16 for your license level to catch this guy again. All right, so let's get started. Just as a reminder, um, you need to have a license level of 16 or better on US Free in order to catch huge fish. So make sure that you have played US free long enough or at least enough fish to get to license level 16 so that you can continue through this journey. So let's pull up the Wahoo here. We got the Wahoo there. And we're gonna be catching it probably on the minnow. We're going to be using the metal jig to spot it. It is gonna be the only huge fish that's red on the metal jig. So let's switch over here to the lure fishing. I'm already on metal jig. Let's bring that up. I don't have any red huge fish. I have green huge fish and yellow huge fish. I need a red huge fish. Let's go ahead and switch it. Expert back to hard. Get us 15 new fish. And I do not see it. Go back expert back to hard. All right, and there we go. We have a red huge fish right there. That's gonna be our Wahoo. Now we can switch over to like I said, I'm going to use the minnow to catch it. So, eh, I could use the crankbait as well. It is on top, so eh, let's let's try that. We'll just have to bring it in slowly because I, I want to keep it to where if I go over here, this one's green as well. So, well, eh, no, I'm going to use minnow. <laughs> Undecisive. I'm going to use minnow because it's back there far enough. I'm not going to get to that guy, so I'm just going to be reeling in to about. Uh, six or seven count and letting it sit there. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Come on. Well, let's try this again. Maybe, maybe I'm, I need to go over farther. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Yeah, I just wasn't over to the left far enough. He does run. All right, bring this guy in. Yeah, this was one of them that I was seeing people complaining about that they couldn't find it. You know, it's probably because they're not licensed level 16. So these are the only two. I don't think there are any more that requires, there might be one more. Not positive. Once we get into the last one, I'll be able to tell you. That was the Wahoo, so we do got it. Mm 
There we go. Good view of them jumping in the sunset. <laughs> and because he's huge, it does take a little bit of time to bring it in. You want to make sure you get your left and your right poles. Get those snaps in. They're not quite as important as the poles, but they're pretty important. I guess maybe that's why this is considered hard, since it's a huge fish. It's an airplane. Ooh, don't want to get it too red. <laughs> don't want to lose that guy. If you do lose it, he's back in the same spot. He just cast back to the exact same spot. He'll be there. Only ones that don't do that are the uniques. But all the other fish, if you lose it, you can cast right back. And sharks. You can't do that with sharks as well. So there is the wahoo. All right. And I'll go ahead and keep that guy. We finished the new journey. And let's head back to the lodge and finish the new, uh, the year journey. All right, so let's receive our reward. All right, saltwater castings, celadon reel. All right, so I got my reel. Awesome. All right, click back in the journey. And let's finish the year. Okay, so here we are in the year journey. And we're going to be Schwabacher, Swabacher, I don't know how to say it, landing. We're going to be catching the yellow perch. I believe this is one of the, uh, the newer maps that have been released. So I don't know that I've actually even fished on those maps yet. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get that started. Okay, so here we are. Let's bring up our fish finder here, or our fishopedia. We're going to be going after the yellow perch. It is a small fish. And we're going to be catching it. I'm going to be catching it with a spinner or the soft bait. You can use live baits if you want. Um, I'm going to be finding it with the popper. It is going to be a small fish that's yellow on the popper. So there we go. We got one right there. Um, so now I'm going to switch over to a bait that makes it green. So we got worm or spinner. And let's see, where's it at? It's kind of on the top. Let me go ahead and do the spinner and just bring it across the top and see if I can catch it. Went way out there, don't need to go that far. When you get closer to about where it would be at, you can kind of slow down. Try that again. I think it's in the, more the middle. I'm just gonna drop it out and kind of drop it down. Just kind of slowly bring it in right there. Way too far. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead, now that we know where it's at, now let's go ahead and switch over to the grasshopper and see what that gets us. All right, so now we got the grasshopper on there. And I'm going to have it on the middle depth. It looks like it's on the middle. I'm just going to cast out right there and just see if it'll turn red. There we go. Hopefully that's it and not the other one. There was another one that was green on the grasshopper as well. So yeah, you can do that too. You can use a lure just to find it and just to determine if you have the right fish. And then you can switch over to your live bait. And there we go. There's the yellow perch. So all right, go ahead and keep that guy. And we'll go back to the lodge. We got Y for year done. Okay, we're back at the lodge. Yep, we have Japanese eel. If you remember on this one, we just caught this. We're going to head back to the same location, Lake Toya, and catch it again. All right, here we are back at Lake Toya. 
Um, we happen to have the grasshopper from the last location. So again, it is the only large fish that's going to be green on a grasshopper. So you have one, two right there. And then you have a medium fish. But these are the Japanese eels right there. So let's go ahead and cast out. Uh, that one that one looks like it's way down on the bottom. This one looks like it's in the middle. So I'm just going to leave it in the middle and see if I can attract both of them. They're about the same place. So I'm going to count back 5, 10, and maybe 11 or 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let that drop down. There we go. That was a pretty quick red line. And it is running. I was trying to think if there was any other fish. They, I think there are other fish. Um, they might be epics. And I noticed that they didn't put any epics in here. Probably to make it a little bit easier to, to catch these. I'm trying to think. Let's go through and see if there's another fish that starts with an E instead of just using the. I know there is another. There is an epic that starts with an H. And I believe it is on South Korea as well. I remember. It's been a long time since I've been fishing on the for the South Korea epics. So. I think it's one of those tiny little fish that start with an H for happy instead of the halibut. All right, almost have it. All right, there it is, Japanese eel. We got it again. And we'll keep you. And we have the E done. Let's go back to the lodge and see what we're gonna catch for the A. All right, so we're going to be catching the Apache trout for the A. Back on that same Schwabacher landing. So let's head back there and catch the Apache trout. All right, let's look at the Apache trout. And what do we have here? Doesn't like anything. It is a rare. So this is gonna be red on dough ball and yellow on crawfish. So let's go ahead and pull up our... Uh, oh, I've already got it on there. It's getting ready to change my date. Wait. All right, so let me go over to dough ball and it is red, and then go back to crawfish, and it should be yellow. All right, don't see it. Matter of fact, you could probably start on crawfish and go to dough ball. All right, there it is right there. Get down here so you can see it. I have the crawfish, and the dough ball is red and yellow. All right. Go ahead and catch it on the crawfish. Looks like it's down there on the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop it down to the bottom, cast out 300 feet, count back, 510. Let it drop down to the bottom. It's not gonna turn red instantly because is, is it a it's not gonna turn red instantly because it is a yellow fish. So it'll take a minute. Yeah, a little bit closer. Let's see if that helps. No, nope. a little bit closer. Maybe I, maybe I came too close. Right, let's take a look here. Yep. Let's go over here a little bit farther. Oop, that was way too far over to the left. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's start off at six and see. Let's start off a little bit farther out. There we go. There we go. That was a little bit better. 
I just I think I went too far in. Went past it. Actually, I might be using my B rod, which would make sense. I usually use my B rod when I'm fishing on the, uh, the lakes because there's really nothing out there. Past 250 feet. All right, go ahead and keep that guy. There's our Apache trout. We've got A complete. Yeah, let me, I'm just curious. Let me. Yeah, I did have B. That's why. So B only cast out to 250 feet. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get out of there. Confirm that. We'll go back to the lodge. Okay, here we are back at the lodge. And we have one left to do the rough scale sole. This is going to be on South Korea 20. So let's go back there. I've been there for a long time. All right, here we are on location 20 of South Korea. This was my favorite location to fish back in the day. So back when I was doing, when they only had South Korea. <laughs> so we're going to be lure fishing with this one. And let me jump over here to lure fishing. And we're going to start off with the spoon. And I believe it's going to be red on spoon and then green on spinner. Let's go ahead and bring up the fish finder here. Find the sole. No, it's green on spoon, red on spinner. All right. So, yep. Okay, here we go. I finally found it. It took a, about three or four resets. On reset, you just go into your settings, go expert back to hard, and it gets you a 15 new fish. Actually, this one might be 20 fish on this location. I believe it is. But uh, we are looking for a green on spoon, red on spinner. So I'm on spinner now. And we're looking for these large fish here. And as you can see, that one there turned turned green. I'm on the spoon. I go to the right to the spinner and it turns red. So that's going to be it right there. I'm going to go ahead and leave it on the spoon. I'm going to cast out and try to catch that guy. I went way over to the right. That's okay. You can always just jig it back into the place where you want it. And then let it drop. There we go. Don't know that that was it. Yeah, it might be. It's been a while since I've come out here to caught this guy, so I know it won't jump. Didn't get a shark, so that's good. And we almost have it. Yep, we got it. Rough scale sole. I figured with the size it would have ran, but I guess not. I guess those guys don't really run. All right, we'll keep that one. And we finish the journey of year. Let's go back to the lodge. All right, there it is. Happy New Year. It's all lit up. We finished all of them. Let's go ahead and receive our reward. And the saltwater casting celadon rod. All right, let's go ahead and click OK on that. Let's take a look at our rod. Let's see right there. Celadon rod. Let's take a look at our reel. Awesome. Let's head out to a saltwater location and get a good close-up look at it. Actually, let's go back to South Korea 20 where we were just at. All right, let's get a close-up of you. Let's actually, let's switch over to expert, get that fish finder out of there. All right, nifty. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Awesome. Well, hopefully this video was helpful for you. And if it was, make sure you give me a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button. It sure helps me a lot. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.